This lesson has been taken from the Mechanic Mindset training platform. If you want to take your diagnostics to the next level, download our new mobile phone app and sign up at mechanicmindset.com today. Use the code YouTube to get your first month of Diagnostic Coach absolutely free. So what is the maximum current draw? This will really depend on your understanding of reading amps and also who you speak to and what manufacturer you might work for. So to clear one thing up first, one amp equals 1000 milliamps, okay? Now, generally, the maximum current draw allowed on most modern vehicles is between 20 and 50 milliamps. That's the same as 0 0.02 amps or 0 0.05 amps. Now, some manufacturers will allow higher. Some people will accept up to 80 milliamps. Now, it really does come down to how problematic that drain might be for the way the customer uses the vehicle, which we'll come on to in a second. So if you're using a multimeter in amps mode to measure your current draw, you might have a reading like this. Now this is 0 0.525 amps, which is also the same as 525 milliamps. If we take a look at this one then, what do we think this current reading is? We've got 0 0.0 zero one one amps which is the same as 11 milliamps now onto the drawer itself if we had a 20 milliamp drain on an 80 amp hour battery that battery might last up to 4000 hours or 167 days which is roughly the same as five and a half months if the car wasn't touched now, that is exaggerating a little bit. Of course, the 80 amp hour measurement is assuming that the battery goes all the way down to the absolute zero percent. And we would probably start experiencing problems on the vehicle when the battery reaches around, you know, 11.5, 12 volts is when it really gets problematic. OK, but this is just, just to give you an idea of if that car was to drain at 20 milliamps, the car will last for months, okay? Now, if we up that now, if we have the car drawing at one amp, it could take as little as 80 hours to drain, which is approximately three to four days. You could probably expect the customer to start experiencing problem as soon as kind of three days passing. And then a two amp drain could be as little as 40 hours, which is approximately two days. And again, if the battery is in great condition, the customer could be experiencing problems overnight. This just goes back to those customer questions that we're going to ask at the beginning of how long does it take the vehicle to um, drain and become a problem where the vehicle's not starting. And then we can cross reference that with the size of the battery. And when we go in to test this drain, we have a good idea of how big this problem might be and how big the drain the current draw on the battery might be. So how do we test for current draw? There are lots of different ways using multimeters and amp clamps and there's also some creative ways of using some other components that we might not have thought of using before and in this lesson we're going to take a look at all of the most popular ways to test the current draw. So ultimately before you perform any tests on the vehicle you need to make sure that the car is in a good state to perform the diagnostics after you have confirmed the drain. Remember, we don't want to wake the car up again once we've got our reading because we're going to need to reference that reading while we're trying to um, isolate the drain on the battery. So ideally, we're going to want to be able to access all of the fuse boxes and potentially some of the main control modules like the body control module. Then what we want to do is open all the doors and roll the locks over. Uh, we're also going to want to open the glove box and any other hatches that you might want to access to get to fuse boxes or control modules. 
We're going to open the boot or the trunk and roll the lock on there and also open the bonnet or the hood. And some vehicles will allow you to pull the bonnet switch up and that will fool the vehicle into thinking the bonnet is closed. Because what we're going to do then is lock the car and also make sure that we deactivate the interior monitoring inside for the alarm system because we're going to be moving around inside the vehicle once we confirm the problem. And of course, if we allow the alarm to go off, then this is going to wake the vehicle up. What we want to do then is allow the vehicle to go to sleep. And after that, we can perform our tests. If you want to take the guesswork out of diagnostics, then come and check out the Mechanic Mindset Diagnostic Coach Programme. We have a whole online training platform which is dedicated to making things easy to understand and can also be accessed on our brand new mobile phone app. Benefit from the instant access of over 15 training courses and counting on topics like electrical diagnostics, sensors, engine management and emission systems, CAN bus and networks, and oscilloscope. We add new lessons every month. Plus, you can download certificates for completing certain courses. We have a monthly live training session, which we record if you can't make it, and a private community, which is willing to help you with your diagnostic problems. So sign up today for your first month free using the code YouTube, and I hope to see you at the next live training session.